Right, so here we have several trees that have been cut down and they are resting on her roof. That's a patio there below us. I can't even try and walk to show you more. It's so dangerous. I don't know where the steps are. We go around here. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This will be the last video of the year. What I'm about to show you will be shocking. Recently I drove to Manchester to meet a lovely lady called Barbara and she needs a helping hand. All these trees have been chopped down and left to rest on her roof, which is insane. Yes, there is a house under all them trees and this is her patio. I know you can't make it out at the minute, but there is one under here. I'd say she hasn't sat in her garden for many years. As this is my last video of 2023, I just wanted to show you what us as a channel have done in 2023. We had a mini series helping Sheila. 96 year old Sheila has been served with a council enforcement notice and it's left her shaken. As you can see, the overgrowth is insane. Fully blocking the highway. Behind me, we've got some really thick, nasty brambles. Plonker, stick to cleaning. Oh. Yeah, so at least this bit. Like I said, we're all safe now and then yeah. we won't have to cancel troubling you or anything like that. At least, oh, you know. Oh, it's so wonderful. I'm going to show you so you could, you know, see it and just put a smile on your face, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you ever so much. That's all right. I'm, I'm gonna... so grateful to you. I oh, know, you're more than welcome. We're going to get this all cleared as well now. I'm going to pressure wash this just to make it all safe and warm. Do you know if there's a side gate, Sheila? Obviously, I know that it's blocked at the minute if there was one. Yeah, there's not. So, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Just look what we are tackling today. Part two, helping the lovely Sheila. This is meant to be a front garden. I cannot wait to show Dad. Oh, you're having a bubble, aren't you? Stop waffling and let's get cracking. What do you think, Sheila? Yes, it's really lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I can't. Terrific difference. 
Get your hand up. Yeah. Part two didn't let us down. What a cracker that was reclaiming that area. And we are back. Part three helping the lovely Sheila. And it's rumble in the jungle. In the green corner we have this overgrown garden. And in the blue corner we have Paul the bush muncher. Sauna! Oh, oh, oh. Let's uh, even grind inside. Bet you a pint you won't jump me in that. <laughs> of water. <laughs> oh, what? What do you reckon? Lovely. What a difference, eh? Yeah. Terrific difference, eh? Good. Terrific. When oh. you think of it, it's all. Awesome. Just thank you ever so much. Honestly, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Sheila's getting the keys for this bad boy today, so I hope we can get it moved. Oh, Sheila, don't worry, I'll move that. Ooh. Do I look like Sheila, you plonker? I think you look the plonker, mate. What's he gonna say now? Stop waffling and get cracking. Stop waffling and let's get cracking. Sheila, from the gutter in. Good lord, it's awful, isn't it? Yeah, but I'll do a little. <laughs> if you've been following the series, we've been helping 96 year old Sheila who got served with a council enforcement notice. Five episodes have been here reclaiming the garden. We're now going to take it a step further and reduce this laurel down to around shoulder height. Thank <laughs> you. 
we took on some crazy community projects such as playgrounds at the community centre, um, slippery paths, overgrown hedges. Uh, we've managed to help the youth centre with a, the skate park clean. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Ben from Floor Stadium and today I'm at Danson Youth Centre. I literally grew up here from the ages of 15 to 21. Spent all my time riding bikes, progressed and got a job here. Now it's reopening after being shut for a couple of years. And yeah, so I'm donating my time. I'm gonna get it all clean, safe for the kids. So I better stop waffling and let's get cracking. Two days of a gruelling shift, eight to late, and it was so worth it. Just look how bright it is. All my aches and pains, so worth it. Now for the next generation to come in, make memories of their friends, and it's all safe and stuff, so that's brilliant. All thanks to you watching at home. This time we've helped the youth centre. Not sure where it's gonna be next, but thank you so much. We also filmed a few videos where seniors had been taken advantage of or conned, which wasn't nice to hear, but to gain their trust and then transform their property and make them have a special day, there is honestly no better feeling. Wow, that's some crazy test patch. How comes there's a big patch there? Sorry? How comes there's a big patch there? Oh, the fella came the other week and wanted to do it. What, just, just started spraying it? Started spraying it, yeah. Without permission? Yeah. It was it scary? Yeah, you just don't want to come up with it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. it's wrong. He wouldn't go, would he? But he wanted to do it. He oh, yeah. it started it. I said, I don't want it done. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Ben from Flawless Cleaning, and today I've got a feel good video for you. We are helping out the lovely Derek and Grace. They're in their 90s and they've been nominated by their daughter Elaine for a free driveway makeover. As you can see here, We've recently had a test patch done by someone and it's a proper ice wall right in your face. Full of energy, raring to go. I'm just going to stop waffling and let's get cracking. Hello, Grime Line. Oh, I've got my legs are gone. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. But as long as you both are happy and it looks... We oh. really are. Surprise cleans are a big favourite of mine, especially for the seniors. Hi. Hello. Yeah, going to get cracking shortly. Okay. I'll just see the uh, size of the test patch. Yeah, there you go. The yeah, wall. they did the wall as well, yeah. Yeah. Because um, it looked lovely, but because I was out shopping and when I come in, I went, what the bloody hell yeah. is that out there? But he said, I didn't even tell him to do it. They just, he couldn't out because he's deaf anyway and, yeah. he, and he can't, and he panics because he can't breathe and he's off his oxygen. And he said, uh, I didn't even say yes. You know, all of yeah. a sudden they're down there. Well, this is what they do. Fine, you know, I don't want it done. But he said, well, look, if you haven't got a pay, if you don't like it, you won't pay. But can you imagine yeah, saying to them? after they've done the work. Yeah, well, I'm not paying, I don't like it. You'll have no house left, nah. would you? But what she doesn't know is that I'm about to do this whole clean for free. I'll keep my voice down so she doesn't hear me.
Yeah, just just one thing I didn't tell the truth on. This is completely free. Oh, you don't say that. No, it's it is. not. Oh, it is. Ben, you can't do that. Well, payment, I'll take a hug, but that's oh. it. Oh, Oh, I'm going to cry. I don't need to cry. Oh, Ben. Something just as simple as you watching this video has created that moment. So thank you so much. Who are you going to call? Dirt Busters. Surprise. Oh, Carol, as you know, I help the community out one day a week. Oh. Today is your day and you've got the Dirt Busters. No. Yeah. Hang oh. on. Yeah, hang on, we've got to catch a ghost. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at you. I love that. Come back here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Ben from Flawless Cleaning and my dad, Paul. So, today, we're going to cheer up the lovely Carol. And hopefully, put a smile on your face too. As you said, everyone's been saying my new tools are like from Ghostbusters. I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy the uniform and have a laugh. Anyways, time to stop waffling and let's get cracking. Ooh, sh check that grime on out. I'm so pleased with it. I really am. It's beautiful. Thank you for trusting me. Lovely Honestly. Yard. I do trust you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Ben from Flawless Cleaning and today we're volunteering to help out the lovely Norman. As you can see behind me, there is a ton of mess to tidy up. Overgrown shrubs and hedges and we're going to try and do a pressure wash but we've got no outside tap so it'll just be purely from what I've got in the van. So come and join me, this is going to be a lovely episode and you're going to be helping out the lovely normal with me. Stop waffling and let's get cracking. Thin. Looks like most of the drive look brand new. It's rather warm in actually. So you might remember Chris from Revival Exteriors and a job with him in Manchester. He's found another resident that is in well a pickle. Just look at the size of these branches. They've been cut down and they are resting on her on her roof. And this is her garden. I can't really walk very safely to show you the garden, but I'll go like that. How insane is that? So, me and Chris are going to work together. We're going to try and get as many local companies as possible just to get this sorted. Uh, this will be probably a project for next year in like April, something like that. So, if you are based in Manchester or you'd even like to travel this far to help out, we are going to need a mixture of services on this one. Anyway, yeah, I, I, no words really. It's in such a state compared to Norman's or Sheila's and just feel bad even just walking away now knowing that I can't come back until like April sort of thing but yeah we are going to help Barbara out I have so many people to thank like my dad he's just put in so much effort this year with helping me out on jobs and just being up for anything you've seen the intros he's always up for a laugh and I owe him everything big thank you to Cress for being a part of this journey and wanting to support these cleans I mean, it's been such an upgrade using their tools. I'm just blown away and we're getting more done. I have to thank you at home. Honestly, it's been, I'm not sure how long, maybe two and a half, three years the channel has been going. And without each and every one of you watching every Feel Good Friday, liking 
videos, commenting, just everything you've done and sharing it, it means the world. And I just can't believe where we are now. For me, I'm not quite sure what my favourite was, whether it was a mini series, a community project, surprise clean. There was just so many and it was just such a great year. Anyways, I have offered enough for 2023. I'll see you in 2024 with one goal in mind, to help as many people with this channel as possible. Cheers.